Okay, uh, William L. Benson, Jr., uh, 81 years old now, born in Cambridge, New York, on a hilltop, not on a mountaintop, at the hospital there, and started traveling when I was six weeks old because my dad was in the newspaper business. We went all over the country. Then later on, after the Depression and everything, we settled in Buffalo, New York. Another interesting thing happened in training. We were on gra uh, uh, throwing grenades, practicing, throwing live grenades over a mound, and then we'd crouch down behind. We had a little fox terrier that would follow us all the time around. Hated civilians, but he liked the army. When the civilians would come to go into the PX, why he'd go after them. Well, he was with us on this one grenade job that we had there, and we threw the first grenade, and he chased it. Went right up, got his nose very close to it. The thing blew up, didn't touch him at all. The shrapnel and stuff must have gone right over his head or something. He came back shaking his head, but he didn't chase another one. <laughs> You say when you're, this is just, I'll interject this stuff on and off because I just think about it. You say they make you macho when you're in the training. And I don't care if it's the Marines, the Army, or any of them. If you get the training, boy, you're invincible. You really know how to kill people and that sort of thing. But I'll tell you what takes the macho out of it. It's when you first go in, and like I first went in with the squad, and we're going into this town where there's been a little battle, and they're on the outskirts, the Germans are on the other side. We're going in, and we round the corner of a building, and there's a jeep with a GI laying off the side, laying over the side of it, and two GIs laying on the ground. And that takes the macho right out of you. And particularly when the one fellow that was in our squad says, Oh my God. I said, What? He says, That's the fellow I was with in training. I went into this one little town. And most of the time when I was shooting, it was distant shooting for me. And you don't actually contact the people that the bullets contact or something. You see them, you're laying down fire someplace, you're laying down fire here. And uh, you see the people after you walk by, some of them and everything, but this one incident, we were going to take this little town or clear this little town. We're going down, going down this nice little valley with a little stream behind it, beside it, and up ahead looks like a little mill or something. Two fellas in civilian clothes come running out of the mill and join, drop, uh, jump on a uh, motorcycle and start off. And Sarge says to the uh, uh, scouts ahead, he says, get them. So wham, 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 they fire and, and the guys go off the motorcycle and onto the pavement. And uh, I didn't fire at all at that time. I didn't need to. But we got up to those guys. And they were laying there, and I can always remember this. The uh, one guy was kind of raising his arm, saying, Comrade, Comrade, as he was laying there. And blood was coming out of him and coming out of the other fella. And it would go together in a stream and then join in one stream and float into the gutter there. I always remember that. You see other things at various times, and but that's one thing that I particularly. At a time before Christmas we all saved our PX rations of uh, cigarettes and cigars and uh, chocolate, the different kinds of candy that we could get and things. And uh, <clears throat> Sergeant got himself a some kind of a uh, Santa Claus uniform, whatever they have over there for Santa Claus. And uh, he dressed up as Santa Claus on Christmas Eve we invited all the kids from the village, which weren't many, and all the grown-ups there, and we gave out presents of chocolate and everything, and they sang uh, 
German Christmas or Austrian and German Christmas carols. It was a Christmas that I remember most in my life, and uh, had a real tree inside with the candles on it. In there, it was good.